Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. Today I want to talk with you about uh, the subject of uh, remapping or tuning the gearbox in your car. Uh, this can be a DSG, this can be a Mercedes uh, VS uh, transmission or BMW ZF or whatever transmission you have in your car. Um, and what that means, uh, remapping or tuning the, the gearbox means you have to, you go into the software, modify some, some maps or parameters inside the, the gearbox and it will change gears uh, a bit differently than it was from the factory. Uh, it can change higher up in the RPMs or lower or uh, you will uh, change the uh, torque limiters in the gearbox, oil pressure and, and stuff like that. So you can do a bunch of changes. To make the car a bit more sportier or if you are uh, a more eco-friendly guy you will want to change it sooner and save some some fuel and, and some stuff like that um, and within this uh, subject uh, i'm uh, confronted confronted more and more uh, with people that ask me to increase the clamping pressure of the clutches in the dsg gearboxes People ask me more and more about um, changing the pressure on the clamping pressure on, on the clutches. So um, what it means, it means uh, this allows uh, a little bit more torque from the engine. And uh, let's say your car has a standard of 400 Newton meters. You remap your engine, you tune it, uh, you make 550, 600 Newton meters and you, have, you want to have more pressure on the clutches so it doesn't slip when uh, the clutch engages. Uh, so the higher pressure you get, more clamping pressure you get, clutch will hold more torque. Now, um, many people just want numbers. Uh, so I'm often asked, make, please make me 16 bars. Please make me 17 bars. Please, please make me 18 bars of uh, pressure on my clutches um, and what I'm usually telling these guys is you do not need 16 bars or 18 bars of pressure on the clutches because the gearbox will measure and feel when it has a slip so for example if you have uh, 14 bars and the clutches don't slip then the gearbox will not generate more than 14 bars so it will always generate as much as it needed as it needs to have a no slip condition so of course you can generate 18 bars all the time but that will stress your um, components inside the valve body so i do not recommend this so i want to talk with you about this subject a little bit today so i have remapped a gearbox and i wanted to show you the log file and what and how uh, we have here this is a simple uh, map for the pressure standard map for the dsg6 dq250 and we can see we have two axes uh, bars and torque in newton meters at zero newton meters it will generate zero bar it will request zero bar 20 newton meters, 5 bars, 250 newton meters, 11 bars, 400 newton meters, 13 bars. So this is a stock map for DQ250, where uh, the limit of the torque is at 400 newton meters. And with 13 bars, it should be enough to hold the clutches under launch control, under normal conditions, and whatever. So people ask me all the time, please make me 18 bars. Okay. Uh, and I always tell them, uh, why do you need so much pressure? It's not needed. You will stress the components inside the valve body. Um, and in not so long time, your uh, mechatronic unit uh, can break. And I made a log file for a car uh, that is remapped. Uh, the car has around 700 Newton meters. And we can see the clutch pressures on one and two. This is under launch control conditions. 
and if we scroll down we can see at 670 newton meters it will generate 14.5 14.6 bars so nowhere near 16 17 or 18 bars so the clutch will hold pressure will the clutch will hold when the pressure is only let's say 15 bars if the rim up is made correctly you can go with the standard clutch to around 600 newton meters without any problems okay if you want to race the car yeah you will need to upgrade the clutch and uh, some other stuff in order to to have it running perfectly we can see here 694 newton meters 14.43 so the pressure never goes over 15 bar and it holds at 650 plus i don't say 690 i say 650 plus newton meters if we go here another log where we can see it even holds at 12.8 bars so it will generate pressure clamp it will hold and then the pressure will slowly go down if you don't apply more torque same here 1455 never going over 15. so when you want to have pressure first ask yourself why do you need so much pressure because it will hold the pressure even if the it will hold the clutch in place without slip even if the pressure is uh, under 15 16 bar so that was just uh, a little that was just a small uh, video i wanted to make because more and more people ask me make me more pressure make me more pressure make me more pressure and my first question is why do you need more pressure do not overstress the gearbox it will break sooner or later if this is unnecessary keep it simple if it works don't fix it thanks for watching guys see you next time